What's up guys, thank you so much for tuning in. Today a sneaker review in continuation of Summer Style 2023. Let's go ahead and take a look at another pair of shoes, but this time instead of running sneakers or something I think is good for travel, let's take a look at something a little more stylish, something you could probably wear at the beach, riding a bike, maybe you run a scooter. It's a sneaker review, it's a skate shoe, it's the Nike GTS 97. I picked these up at Champs. They were on sale. They were on promotion as well. As typical with things that are on sale, it's hard to get the size and the color and the things like that you want. But a couple of silver linings here. I was able to get them, even though I wear a size 11 and a 10 and a half, but a 10 and a half usually fits. And even though I wasn't able to pick a color, um, they are black and white. And actually, as you'll see, I've got a pair of Nike Airs with Pegasus 39. They too are black and white. So now it's like a collection of black and white Nike shoes. So I've got a black and white Nike shoe collection and I think this will be a really good addition. Let's go ahead and do an unboxing of first impressions and then stick around for at the end a try on. So the past couple of weeks I showed you running shoes or shoes that I thought were good for travel, but this week, skate shoes, I picked these up at Champs, they were on sale and they were on promotion. So on sale I think they were $59 and on promotion I got an additional $10 off, I paid $50 for these. Black was the only color available in my size, but what's actually good to see is just quickly here, you'll notice a white bottom and a white sole. This I think is a great daytime shoe. And like I said in the opening part of this video, I have the black and white Air Zoom Pegasus 39. This is a running sneaker here on the right. So what's really cool is now I have a black and white Nike running sneaker and a black and white skate sneaker. So the black and white Nike collection, I thought this was a pretty good addition. The GTS 97 for $50. And last but not least, and most importantly, if you want this shoe in your size, in the color that you want, because it does come in several different colors, you can easily find this at champs.com or on nike.com. What I found was this was available in all sizes and for each different color option they have. Okay, so in the opener, I told you we would do the first impressions first and then stick around at the end for the try-on, but actually I thought it would be a better idea to do the try-on first so that I could give you a better first impressions. There are a couple of important points I need to make. What they advertise this shoe as having is a comfort insult, and I can say that absolutely positively it is comfortable and supportive feeling. It felt snug on the foot. Yes, that's because it's a 10 and a half and I normally wear 11. This is not for a wider foot, but it was definitely comfortable to wear. And also, aside from the comfort insole, you know, providing support and uh, giving cushion and spring, ultimately, as you can see, the spring of the shoe is more towards the center of the shoe, giving you a more balanced center of gravity great for riding a skateboard or maybe on a bike. What I also found made this shoe comfortable was the tongue. It's got a nice cushiony tongue and cushion ankle collar. Also on Nike's website, they advertise this shoe as being easy to style and wear. And while I do agree, I also at the same time tend to disagree. And that's because this does exude a punk skater, maybe punk rock look. They do talk about on Nike's website this being for people who are rebellious, like skaters typically tend to be. So imagine wearing that in your office. Your boss probably wouldn't like that too much. Just something to keep in mind. It looks great with a pair of pants. You can wear it with a pair of shorts. And this is one of those shoes where if you like to wear high socks, tube socks, this is best for that type of look. And last but not least, Nike advertises a vulcanized construction. What I think they mean by that is already broken in. And what I have found that to be is true. Being able to put this on and go skating or biking, uh, you can expect to be able to do that. Um, like I showed you earlier, the center of gravity is at the very center of the shoe. Definitely a good shoe to just 
throw on and go skating or biking with. There's something I wanted to show you on Nike's website. So, shopping for this shoe, what's great to see is it's on sale $55.97. And you'll also see that the different colors are also on sale. Yes, they vary in price, but they are all on sale and are available in the size that you want. So, yes, Champs is a great place to go and they will have the shoe on sale and you can get it same day but they may not have the color you want and they may not have the size that you want. I was lucky, which is how we're making this review today. But okay, so what I wanted to show you on Nike's website is actually there's two Nike GTS shoes. There's this shoe, the Nike GTS 97, and then a Nike Retro GTS. But what's the difference between the Retro GTS and the GTS 97, which we have in front of us here today, both are $55.97, 20% off. And the difference, actually, from what I was able to tell, is the Retro GTS are a darker black. So if we actually go over here to the Nike GTS 97, which is what we have in front of us here, which is what I bought at Champs, as you can see, it's like a lighter black. It's a little more subdued. It's a little more... Um, neutral looking maybe you could say but compared to the Nike GTS 97 you can see uh, that the retro GTS are darker they're black right pure black so in you know the description it says that this is the original that gave a generation of skaters their don't care attitude um, I think the GTS 97 say a rebellious attitude and I think actually my opinion is the retro GTS is the truer shoe right uh, this was probably the original color um, since it's the retro it was probably the yeah original black this shoe was available in and I think the darker the black the sort of more rebellious and the more uh, don't care attitude you have right so, if you want my opinion, I think the Retro GTS is probably the truer shoe, right? If you're a serious skater, if you're seriously rebellious, don't care, going against the grain, going against authority, want to look the business, the Retro GTS with the dark black is the way to go. But, just wanted to show you there is a difference. There are two black and white Nike GTS 97 sneakers, um, a Retro and just the regular uh, GTS 97, the difference being the color, the GTS 97 is a little bit lighter, more subdued, and the Retro GTS is the original, more rebellious, pure black. So in conclusion, this shoe is a timeless classic. Uh, the reason it makes this summer 2023 catalog is because if you're down at the beach, if you're at a beach resort, you're on a scooter, you're biking, you're running, you know, hoverboards and things like that, this is instantly cool, right? Looks the part. But because it's an instant classic, you can wear it all throughout the year and sort of change up your style and wardrobe. Uh, this will definitely help you do that. It's on sale, it's $55.97 on Nike's website. But I was able to get this on promotion at Champs for an additional $10 off. I ended up paying $49.99. As you might remember from the beginning of the video, I do now have a black and white Nike shoe collection going. The Nike Air Zoom Pegasus 39 is the first of the collection. And now the Retro 97 GTS. Uh, this canvas is a really nice, durable feeling material. They come already broken in, ready to skate with, bike with, stuff like that. And like I said, this makes the summer 2023 catalog because if you're going on vacation to a resort, or maybe just going down to the beach, you know, you'll find yourself riding bikes, skateboards, scooters, having a good time like that. Today we looked at the Nike GTS 97, but on Nike's website also saw the Retro GTS, which was a little bit darker, a little more punk skater, a little bit more rebellious looking in my opinion. Both were on sale, but you saw what they looked like on foot. I gave you my first impressions. We did a comparison. We've got a new shoe, part of the collection. So hit that like button, subscribe, I really hope you enjoyed this first impressions and try on. 
Hit the bell icon to get notified when we post YouTube, share this video with friends and family, comment down below for more, and see you in the next video because I picked this up a champs that makes these epic box good. My name is John, thank you so much for tuning in. This is a review of the Nike Retro and Nike GTS 97.